YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack Alflin. This is my 2023 A90 Supra. And today is nothing crazy. It's getting really nice out here in Washington and car meets are back in full effect. I just missed one yesterday, but I had a lot of other things to take care of. It was St. Patty's Day, so we went out. I personally didn't drink. I know a lot of you guys might have drank. Hopefully, if you're hungover, you're recovering just fine. Back to car meets. I really want to go to more car meets this year. I typically kind of like a... Uh, I don't know why I don't really go out to them. I kind of just go out and fill my car and just do my own thing. I was kind of getting a little stale of the look on the Supra. I've kind of run out of funds to really pour into this car and like do a lot of stuff. So I'm trying to make the most out of what I have. And if you know, I have a set of custom built wheels for this car that we ran for SEMA and they look and sick. They're ESRs. As a disclaimer, I'm really big about real wheels, work wheels, Volks, Rays, Gram lights, well, you name it. I'm a big real wheel guy, but ESRs outdid themselves for sure on the set that they made for the Supra. They look really good and I've been wanting to run them for a while and I kind of want to switch up the look. And if you know why I took them off, it was because I had clearance issues and I still have clearance issues even with the apexes. Like they scrape like a mother front and rear. I was driving home and I was like, what can I do to make the ESRs fit? Something crossed my mind. So the ESRs, they're a 19 inch wheel. The apexes are an 18 inch wheel, but the apexes have a much bigger tire, a much taller tire wall, sidewall than the ESRs do. Naturally, because it's an 18, I thought no problem. They're going to clear way better. It'll be a way easier fit. Let's pull up the ESRs. That's why I'm rubbing. Still rubbing with the apexes. I'm driving home. I'm like, why? Do I rub so bad all the time? Would the ESRs rub just as bad? If so, I kind of want to just run them because they look so good. And then I got to thinking, the tires are way more low profile on the ESRs. I'm about to show you. So much so that I actually thought they are probably going to be an overall smaller wheel in the wheel well than the apexes would be, which sounds weird because the apexes are an 18 and the ESRs are a 19, but they're the same width. They're both nine inches wide. Funny enough, I get home, I pull the wheel off, I put them side by side, and thankfully, I'm very happy about this. The apexes are indeed taller. Let me see if I can get a better comparison. There's no doubt this is much shorter than this. You can see on the tire wall, all along the tread here, you can kind of see tons of scraping. It's not that, well, I mean, it's pretty bad. Obviously, you don't want your car to do that. Theoretically, these wheels should scrape a little bit less. I've been wanting to run them really bad lately because I'm kind of getting tired of the Apex wheels and a lot of hate on my TikTok is what it is, bro. But I actually already got one wheel on. I was already kind of taking care of a couple things and I just kind of got to work. I'm gonna kind of continue what I was doing. I'm doing more than that, but it's kind of just like brainless stuff. If you just want to hang out, watch me do car stuff, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. I'm just gonna get straight to work because it's nice out. I wanna get back on the road. probably asking why I'm taking off the side skirt. It's really simple. I didn't know this, and I don't think the body shop that did the work on the car either did, did either. A90s come with this factory, this little side skirt. I don't know if you can really see it on camera. If you know about Supras, you know they have like this little OEM side skirt. To make the side skirt from Street Hunter run flush or correctly, 
you have to take it off and it's been on the entire time and it's always kind of looked i wouldn't say wonky but something always seemed a little bit off it didn't seem like it sat exactly right this is why i already did the other side i just wanted to make sure it was super easy before i dove into it and started recording it is really easy it's a complete game changer for both pieces the side skirt and the front guard It's always the last one that's so difficult to get out. For no reason. We are going to wrap up the work on the car. Not really too much left to do to it. Canon died and got ran out of battery and Mike ran out of battery, whatever. So we're just going to film with this. This is easy. It's the GoPro. And all we got to do now, we're just going to... I'm actually, so I put the ESRs back on. And funny, like, as I had talked about in the last or the earlier part of the video, how the Apexes, they are overall going to be a bigger tire up front or a bigger wheel setup because of the tire size. That was right. So the fronts are way better with the ESRs. It rubs way less. And the only thing with the ESRs in the back is the fitment's a little bit soft. So we're going to huge shout out to Sean Mashimaro. As always, Mashimaro is the plug. He always comes through for anything and everything I could possibly ever need. He hooked it up. We got some 10 mil spacers. We're going to throw these on real quick and see how they fit. And it's kind of just more, more it's more or less just going to be like a test fit to see how 10 mil does fit. Whoa, I forgot how this tripod works. Hopefully it fits better or it fits decent. It doesn't poke too much. I guess this is kind of gonna be the trial and we're gonna see right now. So I gotta just back up the car and set it back up. I got a little excited. I'm already opening the bag. 10 mils are like, it's only a 10 mil spacer, so it's nothing crazy. On the last wheel setup, I was running a 60 mil in the back, which obviously I'm not gonna have to run that for this because the ESRs that were built are already really wide. How am I gonna get this separated? Like so. <laughs> I'm fucking struggling, we'll be back. This video wasn't really much, it was kind of just me just dialing in like a couple of things on the car, uh, things that I've been kind of like picking for like bugging me. I was gonna do a lot more on my day off, but I had a ton of stuff we gotta do. Like I did like community service and everything. Giving back to the community, you should always do that. But I'm not gonna miss a weekly upload for y'all. You guys are always gonna see what I'm doing to my car. And even if it's a boring video, kind of like this one, not the most exciting thing ever, y'all still coming along and y'all still gonna see cause I'm still gonna work on my car weekly. So. Let's get this on the car, let's see how it looks. I'm gonna set up this thing on the ground now while I back it up, so it's got a cool, see in a sec.
we're actually gonna have to end the video here unless I record tomorrow, which we'll see. So if you can kind of tell this, um, the mouth, the, the bolt comes out after the spacer does not come out far enough outside the spacer that it will even bolt into the hub itself. So I can't even run the spacer. So that sucks. And we're just gonna have to give this a shot either tomorrow night or something because there's literally nothing I can do about that. So it is what it is, but good thing you double check that kind of stuff before you put it on the car because that would have sucked. But if I wrap the video up here, just wanna say thank you to everyone who watched the video. We're steady climbing towards 650 subscribers. I just wanna thank every single one of you for subscribing to the channel and supporting me. I don't really have anything too exciting to do and I wanna still bring you guys along with me to watch or to see everything I do to the car, whether it's super exciting or not. I just want you guys there along with me. So I figured I might as well record this. The wheels aren't even like screwed on, but I managed to like hold it securely while I jacked it down, just kind of like as a test fit to see if the 10 mils would work. But that's kind of where we're at. I'm, I, I'm actually curious what you guys think. If you guys think it's a, either too much, I almost think it's like, well, I mean, it does look really good. Let's check it from over here. Like, it's actually a really good fit, man. Let's get this out of the way. I don't know. I figured I'd show you guys and see what you guys think. If you guys think the fit looks good, just lower it again. It will likely settle a little bit once it's actually, cause it's on a couple of wood blocks right now. Once it's actually on the ground, it'll probably sit a little bit lower and we can always lower it. But let me know down below what you guys think of the fitment, whether you think it's good, a little bit too much or not. I think it looks pretty good. I think it'll tuck really well. Let me know down below. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully if I don't end it here, you guys get to see the finished product. If I do end it here, Hopefully you guys get to see the wheels with the spacers on, but for now, peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Later.